Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be underway very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. And our live game is Villarreal against Real Madrid. I'm Peter Drury and this is Jim Beglin. A delight to have him on board. Cheers, Peter. It's a privilege to be here. It really is. We're underway. Real Madrid were simply a class apart in the corresponding fixture last season. They dismantled their opponents. Played out to the wing. Daniel Carvajal boots it upfield. And it's Benzema. Looks like a good ball through. Carvajal. Delivers the ball. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Tries the route one option. Marcelo. Sergio Ramos. Tony Kroos. Villarreal. Oh, their previous results are some adept management. Well, Peter, he was lauded by the media, and quite rightly too. I think what he did was clever and decisive, and it just goes to show how tactically astute he is. So what now? Cruz. Must score! Real Madrid are seeing a lot of the ball early on, but can they make it tell? it through Sergio Ramos midway through the first half and there's an impotence about this game that's causing me concern and, and probably most of the stadium too let's just hope that by the end it'll have been forgotten Cristiano Ronaldo is steaming forward Oh, he's really drilled it. Can he dig out a shot? Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Knocks it towards the front. Tries to stroke it through. Now here's the through ball. Giovanni dos Santos! Sergio Ramos, Marcelo. And it's Bale. It's Bale! Bale is someone who you have to make a special case for. I mean, if you want to stop him shooting, then you have to double up on him because one marker just isn't enough. He's too strong. James. Away from immediate danger. And Pepe. Tony Kroos. James Rodriguez. Cristiano Ronaldo. Lovely feet. Cristiano Ronaldo. Goal! Real Madrid! Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with and to find it I think it was a fine drive and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance
Real Madrid get themselves into the lead. Listen, it's no surprise to me as to who scored the goal when you look through this team. He's the standout performer with a, a whole repertoire of different talents. He'll do for me every time. Modric. Real Madrid leading by one and looking very comfortable on it. Pepe. Real Madrid are in control here on the brink of half-time. There will be a throw-in. Oh, but still, he just read it. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo got into a good position, but he may need to hold things up. And won a corner. Balls come loose, and the chase is on. Saved only by poor finishing. Well, there wasn't much on for him, so it was worth a shot. It was worth a try from there. That is a poor kick by the keeper. Been intercepted. Aim forward. Benzema gets flagged offside. out and deals with it so they got the only goal to give them a 1-0 lead Marcelo James Rodriguez Daniel Carvajal James Rodriguez referees had a look and he's blown his whistle for half time I'm sure they'll be very happy with their first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job. Real Madrid happy to have the lead in a tight old game. Half time, 1 0. And that's the start of another 45 minutes. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Now it's Modric. That always looked inevitable. The defence dealt with that really well. Giovanni Dos Santos, forward it goes. Well read, he sorted that out. A chance! It's one! They've scored! They are right back in business. He was urged to shoot, and he duly delivered. Yeah, I've got great admiration for the finish, but I've even more admiration for the pass that set it up. It was delicious. has certainly made things interesting. Oh, this is real tit-for-tat stuff. It's difficult to see which one has the drive and determination to come out on top now. For a moment, you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Well, goals change games, and now that parity has been restored early in this half too, this game could take off in a direction they weren't expecting, and the next phase of play requires a stronger rear guard action from them there. Now the pass. He's come through and he's had a quick look inside. Bill! Goal! Real Madrid! And they get themselves in front! 
and however many surrounded him, that is what he can do. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. Madrid go into the lead. Looks to slip it through. Here it comes. Real Madrid may be thinking about substitutions now. They still have two available. And it's Giovanni dos Santos. Giovanni Dos Santos, who scored a great individual goal for the opener in his last game. Can he score? Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Well, I think the opposition was pretty sloppy in creating a problem for themselves then, but he was onto it so quickly and very nearly made them pay. Giovanni Dos Santos. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. It's Benzema! Well, he would surely have scored there more times than not. Tries lifting it over. Tries a through ball. It's a goal kick. There's going to be a change here. There's a man waiting to come on. Tony Kroos, just about up to 75 minutes. Now the pass. He spotted the run and played him through, and the flag has stayed down. Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, I think they've shown a lot of courage in looking for another goal, but if it backfires, the coach will certainly come in for some criticism. They need to keep the ball. Bale. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Now the cross. Oh, holding on to the slenderest of leads with time ebbing away. Benzema plays it out to the flank. Coaxed out to the wing. Too much on that, it's gone out. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. Another throw. They need a bit more urgency in their play. Time is ticking away. Real Madrid just have to run down the clock. And that's a throw. to slip it through they've done it we thought it was over it's all square once more oh, given such an open invitation he was always going to shoot it's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box nobody sensed where the danger was lurking and the finish was made a lot easier
all square again into the dying minutes. He's off on a marauding run. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. It's a long forward pass. And he certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. It's a loose ball. Varane. Kadira. Chance! Goes for it! Another chance! Can he find a finish now? Goal! Listen, it's a massive contribution to help his team in front again, and his determination and stamina has enabled another late addition to, to typify his commitment from, from start to finish. I think he just thought about trying his look from further out there, but why bother when you can worm your way through a defence like that? It's, it's terrific play to, to get through and score. Real Madrid take what looks to be a decisive lead. The referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Real Madrid have held on a knife-edge game, a single goal margin, but they have won it. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? They've achieved this away win thanks to a game plan which they stuck to and trusted from start to finish. The players deserve praise, and, and so does the manager, who got it spot on. That's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening.